Interview and job search strategies that work. I'd like to talk about value. What are you worth? How do you figure that out? If you don't know, I will I can give you some suggestions on how to figure that out. If you're ready, get a piece of paper and a pen. If you're driving, think about this in your mind, like, what am I, you know, doing? If you don't have a paper and pen, just, you know, remember this or just watch the episode when you get home or wherever you're going, write it down. Here goes. We're going to pretend like you make $48,000 take home a year, like after taxes, right? That's your, your dollar amount essentially, right? So you got that money right there. That's in your hand. So $48,000. Now let's take that, that, that's a year, right? That's after taxes. So we'll take that money and we'll say, okay, divided by 12 months, right? So that's 4,000 a month. Now, take that same, so every month, that's 4,000. So now you have a week. Every week is 1,000. Okay. Now, typically everybody works 40 hours a week, right? So you take 1,000, divide by 40, that's 25. That's $25 an hour, roughly. So $25 an hour, that's in your head right now, right? So that's, that's the amount. Like, that's your take-home pay, right? 25 bucks an hour. Now, here's the thing. How do you figure out your value? Do you make it more simplified or you're driving somewhere and you're thinking like, um, what is my time worth? You know, something doesn't really take an hour. Something may take 15, 20 minutes. So how do you find that out? Well, you take that 25 and you divide it by 60. So that's per minute. So I think it comes up to like 41 cents or something like that. 41.6 41.6 cents, roughly, in some change. So, you know, in your mind's eye, that's what you're worth. You know, we're just pretending, of course, 48000 a year. So now you take that and you say, okay, uh, 41 cents. So how do I, you know, when you, when you approach someone and they say, well, how much do you charge? Well, here's what you can do. Here's a simple formula. Like, when you go to a restaurant, it's always usually... Um, three times. So you, you, they make it for a dollar and they charge you three bucks, right? For whatever product it is because of the cost and then the profit. Same thing here. So what you do is you take that 41 cents times three, 41.6 cents roughly, right? Times three. What is that? Carry the one, 41 times three. What is it? One dollar 23 roughly, right? So a dollar 23 an hour, uh, a minute is what you're worth. So how does that apply? Um, or, or how does, how do you factor that in? Right? So now when you're, when you're going somewhere, say you're driving somewhere or you're, you're, you need to do something right. And it's, you know, it's going to take 10 minutes. Say, okay, write it down. Say, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Well that, that costed me, you know, that was worth, you know, um, a do, you know, $12.30 or whatever, right, of my time because it was like, you know, 10 minutes or whatever, right? And that, that's how you factor that in. That's how you figure that stuff out. And when you're, you, you go and when you're doing a project for somebody and you know how long it's going to take, to use this formula on that, right? Um, this kind of strategy, so this is, the whole idea here is to get in the mindset of thinking about um, that type of thing, because, you know, as most people, me included, right? Oh, I want to make a thousand dollars. You know, it's such a big number, right? But if you, if I knock it down, if I knock it down to like, oh, 41 cents a minute. Oh yeah, that's easily attainable. So now I'm thinking, what do I need to do to make 41 cents a minute? You know, what, what, what value can I, can I, can I give to the marketplace that, They'll give me, in exchange, they'll give me 41 cents a minute. What, what do I need to do to do that, right? And, that, and that's the whole idea here behind that is the whole exercise, right? It's writing this down is to get in that frame of, that frame of mind, that mindset. Um, 40, oh, 41 cents a minute. Yeah, right. I'm worth that. You go somewhere, you're talking to somebody, and they're just jabbering on like I'm jabbering on sometimes or whatnot. And you're thinking, hmm. Okay, what can I, what, what else can I do with my time? 
that I can take this 41 cents and I can apply it somewhere else so I can, you know, get recoup that value. The other thing to do is this. When you go for a job, when you're working, say to yourself, okay, all right, I'm driving. It takes me 10 minutes to get to work, let's say, right? So 41 cents times 10 is $4. So when you go to work in the morning, you're on your way to work. Like you're working essentially, right? Any, anytime you go to work, you're on your way to work because you can't do anything else other than like maybe listen to a podcast, listen to this great podcast here, you know, awesomely. But, the other, you know, so now you have, um, you're, you're basically paying to go to work somewhere, right? $4 and, you know, $4 and 10 cents to go to work um, somewhere. So you, you take that money off the top and you say, okay, how do I recoup that money some way, somehow, you know, get that back somehow. And, you know, I guess the whole idea here is think about money in that term and you think about like your time, how valuable it is. Um, it, you know, in my mind, it's just so much easier to think that way. And, uh, because I was like thinking like, how do I, what am I worth? You know, how do I qualify that? How, and I was like, okay, let's break it down by a minute. Okay. So that's the, um, that's the end of goal. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you a story, right? About time, about time and about what you're worth and all that. I used to work at a place and I used to drive six hours, by the way. This is, this is real. I drive, I drove six hours one way, way to work. And, um, you know, I, I worked there, I used to work there. So we started off, I worked there one day a week, right? Then the rest was work from home. Um, then they changed it to where it was four days a week or no, three days a week. So I had to, you know, I, it was fine. You know, I left in the morning. I left at like four in the morning, basically. Right. And I arrived there and, uh, six hours and then I worked the whole day. Right. Um, then they changed it and say, Hey, we need you here. Like the morning of like, really? You mean here? Like the morning of, you know? So what I had to do is I had to leave the day before six hours. So you can imagine, right? You have two days at home and you're there. So the second day, let's say for instance, it's Monday, Tuesday. So on Tuesday night, you, I leave, go to work six hours away and then work for, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right. And then come back home on Friday, six hours. And, um, <laughs> oddly enough, it got to the point where it was like, it would have cost me money to, to work there would have cost me like $14,000 or whatever to actually work there. So I'd have to pay for the right to work there. And I was like, all right, I'm good with that. And that, and that's kind of where I, I said, you know, I could make probably a lot more, but the time factor, you know, six hours one way. And it's great seeing all the, you know, um, in the new t cities every week, you know, and all that. And that's great. But the time frame, like, what can I do, you know, because I, fa I figured out, like, six hours a week, right? Most people, 12 hours, rather, a week, right? So most people kind of do that already. If they work, say, an hour away, um, that's 10 hours. So what is it that? An hour, so one, yeah, that'd be two hours commute a day. That's 10 hours, right? That's like you're going one hour away from where you live um, five days a week. You know, and then of course you're at home every night. The difference with my thing was I paid for a hotel while I was there, and it was like, come on. And um, any rate, so I really figured out like what is what is my time worth, right? And I figured out like I would have saved, I don't know, something like two weeks or no, like I don't know, four weeks or whatever, a year, something like that of time, if I would just like work from home completely, basically, right? And if, if you're com contemplating, you know, t um, working from home or if you, you're you not sure about it, like, I'm not sure when I work from home, um, try it out. Give it a try. I know it can be a little, um, it can it can be stressful a little bit because you don't have that feedback you have. Um, but the difference being you have so much more freedom, right? 
I mean, it's it's just. I mean, you have you do work more hours. I will say that, but you have so much more freedom than you would. Well, I I do anyway. I'm not everybody, but I have so much more freedom because I work from home. Of course, I work way more hours. Maybe like another twelve hours a week, something like that, right? But again, um, I'm working from home. So literally, my laptop. I take it anywhere. I'm working. That's how it works. And uh, that you know, it, it's a little different than okay. I have to be somewhere. I have to drive somewhere. I have to show up to work. You know, when I wake up, like that's my office right there. Bam, right there. It's right there. It's like thirty seconds. I'm logged in. Right versus going to work, driving in somewhere, driving to work. Okay, how much is my time worth? I gotta wake up early i gotta go to tra- uh, through traffic or whatnot maybe it's 10 minutes maybe it's an hour who knows and then i get there and you know you probably know this right whoever is listening to this you guys know this you get there what do you do you typically go in and you chat oh hi how's it going i nice see you whatever right and then you have usually a meeting and then you do work and then you go to lunch and then you come back or you stay at lunch, right? Or you do work through lunch, basically. You come back, you chat a little more, you do more work, and then you get prepared to go home. And then you do it all over again, Monday through Friday. And that, you know, that's great. That's fantastic, right? But I, I'm just saying there's a there's a different way than just doing that. And obviously, yeah, you could probably make, you know, twenty thousand more if you're working in an office. Uh, but you know, I mean, like for instance, I'll tell you a story. I, I make like 10,000 less a year actually working from home than I would, than I did when I worked six hours away, 10,000 a year, uh, less, which is fine by me. Um, because it's just freedom, you know, um, freedom, more freedom than working, you know, working in office or, the other thing that um, I'll tell you, the other thing about freedom and time and all that is, um, when you ha- when you have little contact with your fellow coworkers, basically only through meetings, there's really less chance of of uh, pissing somebody off, basically, or um, getting you know um, misinterpreted or little sidebar conversations or what do you call it gossip. There's like none of that. None of that happens at all. Because you're working from home. So you may ask, like, well, you work from home. How do you get, you know, your social interaction, right? Well, I go on meetups. You know, obviously I have my own meetup. It's um, Get a Job in IT. It's on uh, Meetup. Um, the link is in the show notes here. Um, I go to meetups. I go to, like, WordPress meetups. I've been to Azure meetups. I've been to um, podcasting meetups. I've been to YouTube meetups. I go to all the meetups like that just to interact with other humans, basically. So I get that. Um, also, working from home, like, I go to um, chicken shawarma places. I've been to, like, you know, I go eat um, shawarma. I'll take my laptop with me, and I'll work while I'm at a place. So I'll work from home, but I'm working, you know, at a, um, at a Mediter- you know, chicken shawarma place, basically. Get some nice chicken shawarma. You know, that's really it right there. I mean, working from home doesn't mean you stay in your in your house, basically. Some jobs are like that. Like if you work as a call center, like um, Cytel or Transcom, right? One of those two, they do like um, phone support for like Charter, not Charter, Cox Communication. And they do like, um, what is that, Viasat, the, the ISP there, you know, the satellite internet. Of course, you have to be there because, you know, in your, in your home, right? Um, you don't want noise or whatever, right? But other, other, you know, work from home jobs, like you might have a meeting. Okay, have a meeting in the car. As long as you have Wi-Fi, you know, your hotspot, your phone, right? You have the meeting in the car. Um, you know, employers, when you work for a company, work from home, employers expect, it's kind of a, it's kind of a known thing that you have your phone with you, your laptop with you at all times, basically. Not all the time, but it's kind of known. And it just really helps you out, by the way. Because at a moment's notice, you might get a call, especially in IT for something. And, oh, okay, I'll take care of it, right? You know? Oh, done. You know, versus like, you know, 
work working in an office, they of course they don't expect you to come in for that. You have people that are on call or whatever, and so that's a luxury, and not and not a luxury at the same time because sometimes your weekends are not your own if you work from home versus if you're in the office, your weekends are your own. Um, but the, at the same time, if you work from home, you can go anywhere. You can travel. You know, you can go to you know Mall of America if you want. You know. As um, long as you have Wi-Fi, you know, come with your laptop or not, whatever, maybe they have a VPN, they have a VDI, whatever, however you log in, um, and you do work, you're working, you're doing work, you know, and I'll tell you, IT, I mean, of course, I know there's writers out there that, that work from home, you know, and, and you're not going to get it. I mean, if you don't have any IT experience at all, um, just take my course, you know, it's on uh, Teachable. It's uh, get a job in IT. There's a show, a link in the show notes, and um, that that course will actually teach you how to get a job. I teach you how to get a job in IT, basically, right? I mean, from start to finish, you know nothing about IT, and I teach you IT, and I t- also teach you Commvault. So it's a niche market. You may not know this about Commvault, but Commvault's a backup uh, software that backs up like almost everything, like. Major, all major companies usually, or most major companies have this software. They use this software to back up. They just don't advertise it, right? Um, so it's a, a very good product. So, Well, I'd like to thank everybody for listening to this podcast. Have a great day.